So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make everything you see here. When you're first starting a business, saving money is super crucial and these tips have helped me so much. And it's perfect to reduce waste so that way you don't order a bunch if you don't end up using them. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my TikTok because this is where I post most of my tutorials, but I will be posting them here too. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first tutorial we're gonna be doing is the thank you cards. You're gonna go into Canva and you're gonna create a six by four template. And then you're just gonna go ahead and start creating your design. So here are some templates that are in Canva that you can use or take inspiration from. So just go ahead and create your thank you card. This is seasonal, so it's not always gonna look like this, but if you want to later on, just go in and save this and then go in and you can change, you know, delete some things and then make it your regular thank you card. Just know that you can do that and export this as a PNG and just go ahead and download that. And create an 8.5 by 11 paper. And you're going to be able to fit three on here and export this as a PDF print file because that's the best for printing on glossy paper. So go ahead and download that. Go to your printer settings and make sure that this is, okay, make sure it's the right printer. Select the right printer first. Make sure that this is scaled to 100% and then you're going to click print using system dialog and select your paper and mine is the photo glossy paper that I'm using. And here is that paper as well. So I'll go ahead and link that down below. Also, it depends on the printer, but for mine, it prints super, super slow. Like this will literally take probably like three minutes to fully print, maybe even five. But um, yeah, mine is really slow for some reason. And years later, and that's how they came out. And now we're gonna cut. I'm using this paper cutter that I got off Amazon. I swear by this, it's literally a lifesaver. Link down below. When you're just starting out, you may not be getting as much orders, and so you don't want to order like, let's say, I don't know, I think the minimum is like 50 for some websites to order thank you cards. So that may be just a little too much when you're first starting out. Um, and so this is definitely a money saver, and you don't waste thank you cards in case you don't end up liking them or using them. It's just a really budget-friendly way to do it. This is how I've been doing it, and it's been working pretty good. That's how they came out. Look how cute they are. And yeah, that's the finished product. The scrunchie tags, you're gonna create an 11 by eight and a half template. And this is just so that we can work on it sideways. The way I did this was I kind of just eyeballed it. So I added a background, my background color, and to not waste more ink, I only did it on about this much of the page because this is gonna be scraps that we're not gonna use, so I don't wanna waste more ink um, doing it that way. If you have like XXL size scrunchies, you're gonna probably need more paper because you know the width depends on the size of the scrunchie and how thick it is. So you're gonna add whatever you want on your scrunchie tag. For example, I like to add my logo, get these a little bit closer, and six should be perfect. On the bottom here is gonna be the back of the tag. So whatever you put up here is gonna be opposite to what's down here. It might make your life easier to just do the logos on the bottom, which is what I did last time. The logo doesn't really matter, but you're gonna to have to see the text. Add whatever it is you want it to say. Make sure that it lines up with the logo because remember, we're gonna slice them like this. You can put the size of your scrunchie. Right now I only have one size, but for example, if I had like a mini size and a extra large size, I would probably put like scrunchy, mini. Whenever you're using glossy paper, I always recommend exporting as a PDF print file. Select print, go to more settings, make sure this is scaled to 100%, that's really important. Gonna go ahead to print using system dialog and change this to photo glossy paper. Basically, I just cut the excess and now I'm just gonna be cutting them to size. Okay, and so do you see the vision? Now it's gonna be flipped like this. And then you have your tag. Line this up and then you can use double-sided tape if you want right there. I think I might start doing it. I'm not completely sure because I don't really love how the stapler works. And there you have it. Super, super easy. And it looks so cute. And this can also work for jewelry like necklaces and things like that. So there you have it. There's your custom scrunchie tags. So this next project can be seasonal or it can not be. It depends on you and what you want to do. You can create a two by three and a half inch canvas. So we're gonna be doing a seasonal scratch off card. So you're gonna go ahead and create your design. Make sure to leave a quarter size blank space because that's where you're gonna be putting your promo code. This is what I meant by leaving a blank space right here because that's where you're gonna put your promo code. And then you're gonna put the sticker on top and create an 11 by eight and a half canvas or it can be the other way around. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be able to fit 10 on here, duplicate these and center them. Let's see, snow, 
20 for and then 20 percent off size that down to fit inside your little blank area right there just for the sake of this video um this is what it should look like when you're done i am going to change these codes afterwards to put my codes but um this is how it should look like and once again export this as a you guessed it pdf print file again i'm just going to now cut these to size these are the scratch off stickers that i'm going to be using these are linked in the description down below they are from amazon cover that space up and there you go, super easy. It's gonna look like when your customers scratch them. This is the only item in this video that is not gonna be with the glossy paper, but you are gonna be using Canva. You can create a canvas that's three and a half by two. This is gonna be the front part of the tag um, where it's you know just my brand. Also something to note, this is the same template for a business card. So if you wanted to do a business card, you can also do that. This can be the front and then you would add just a, another page and do the back, add your socials, add whatever you want to be on your business card. And this also works for that as well. Once you're done creating the front part of your tag, you're going to go ahead and export this as a PNG. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is resize your canvas to two by three and a half. Oops. This is gonna be the back of your tag. Now, if you don't want care instructions for your whatever your product is, then you don't have to do that. You can put whatever you want. These are for my sweaters and my t-shirts, so I like to put care instructions. Export these as a PNG. Now I'm gonna go to avery.com. This is the only project that doesn't require the glossy paper. You have to use a special paper that goes with the Avery website. It's very inexpensive, it's really affordable, and it's just super easy because since it's front and back, this template is designed to make it come out perfect. This is the special Avery 28877 um, business card paper and it is front and back. So everything will be linked down below for you guys. This is like the perforated one. So they already, um, you see that? <laughs> you can just pop them out when they're done. So it is super convenient. The only downside to this, I will say, is that they do not come out as vibrant as the photo glossy paper for obvious reasons. This is more cardstock feel, um, matte type, if you will. So that is the only downside I have with this, but I don't mind it for now. You're gonna go to avery.com. I think you might have to create an account, but I'm not 100% sure if you do it's free but you're gonna go to templates under templates you're gonna select business cards and here you're just gonna go ahead and enter that number on the paper so ours is the 2877 all right go ahead and click on that and then just click start designing it's gonna have these specific ones um, there are different types two by three and a half so make sure you select the right one and then put select this template Okay, and then select the blank one here. Now, all you're gonna do is go ahead and drag in where the dotted lines are. Those are the safety areas of your text. So make sure that all your texts are within that safety area. But I like to scale mine all the way out so it fits perfectly like that. Once you have the fit that you like, you're gonna go ahead and select back of sheet. And then you're gonna go ahead and select the back of it. You're gonna rotate resize there we go like that you can use these arrows to see how it's going to print so that's the front and the back and then you can also see the 2d of it this is the front and this is the back select print it yourself selected as print front and back of sheets and then get PDF to print open PDF Okay, so go ahead and load this into your printer. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Just load that in. And I only do one at a time because it can grab another paper. And again, remember this is front and back, so this is gonna be a two-step thing. So once it comes out, you have to put the sheet in again on the opposite side. Don't worry about the settings because again, this is already a uh, template sheet. Go ahead and press print. So you're just gonna take it and put it right back in like this. And there you go. That's how they came out. Now all you have to do is just break the um, perforated lines apart. Here's how they came out. I think they look super cute, but as you can tell, they're just not as vibrant as the photo glossy paper, which isn't a big deal. This way you can print tags as you go. Again, it's less waste in case you don't use them all. 
And yeah, there you go. That's all I have for you today. But again, make sure to follow my TikTok and my Instagram and all that good stuff. And I will be posting more videos on here soon. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, let me know what you want to see down below. And I'll see you in the next one.